Hi, I'm Greg. Welcome to 3D Make It. Today I thought we'd do a bit of an update. Uh, haven't talked about my Anycubic Chiron uh, much lately uh, and what mods and changes I've done to it. I've had lots of questions over uh, the past few months on, on what I do with it and whatnot. So I thought we'd have a look. I would show you one of the designs I have just uh, done to it. Uh, and some of the mods, so let's get started. So, first thing I wanted to show you is uh, the latest design I've done. Made a mount for the Hermea uh, from E3D, formerly Hermes. I have modified a fan duct here. I will put it on my Thingiverse and uh, I will give attributes. I can't remember off the top of my head the person who made this, but fantastic design. Prints really well. Cooling's great. But the back mount here and the actual BL touch mount, that is my design. On the back, this is the what I do all my designing on my Chiron. I've made a bracket that I can design off of, which has all the same holes uh, that come from the factory, so I can quickly modify my design and iterate on it and uh, go from there. So let me just turn the carriage off, and you can kind of see what I've done here. So the E3D's thermistor has a clip so this little slot in the back of the um, mount is so the wiring the wiring comes up the back through the mount at the back so it's uh, fairly neat and uh, the only wires that come off of this is the extruder wire and the the one fan wire will come up here and of course the bl touch wire will sneak behind here and then we'll use the same cable management that comes factory. The BL touch wire will sneak up the back and then it'll go up to the top here and I'll turn the carriage back on and ma wire management uh, for the Chiron bolts onto here. So it, it's actually printing quite well. I've been using it for a while. So let me just show you um, the actual uh, in, install and what it looks like on, on the printer. All right, so here it is all installed. You can see how the wire management works here. I've got all the, the end stop wires, the, the fan for the Hermera, uh, and then the BL touch wires go behind this. Then they come out here. And uh, you can see that you've just got the one wire coming up from the fan, the cooling fan, and then the wires from the actual stepper. And they just go into the wire management. And I've taken out the original um, wire loom that was in here. I still have it. I didn't modify it or cut it or anything. I still have the original. I just decided that I wanted to fully re rewire it. Now, when it does come over over here, what I've done is I've got the E3D stepper wire. I've put on some uh, connectors so I can disconnect the hot end. Uh, this is the hot end thermis thermistor connector right there and whatnot and it just goes right into the wire loom and then you can't really see it so I'm going to come down here. The original stepper wire plugs into comes out here and I, I'm using the same wires um, and then I just fed it in and connected it up to the actual E3D connector. And then I've just got the wire loom 
going through this slot here and this is where the USB connector the USB connector was for the main board because but since I'm having the SKR wire comes out here so I'm not using the SD slot and I'm not using the original cable management it's there so if I ever for some reason wanted to convert it back to stock I could but right now I'm pretty happy um, taking the um, extruder driver off has reduced the weight on the gantry uh, quite a bit there you go that's one of the major updates I have done is direct drive on my any cubic I tell you it's printing fabulous this is such a good printer even stock it, it printed really well I had an opportunity to get a Hemera and so I thought what the heck what's my best printer it's this one so I made up the mount so I will make the mount fully available on Thingiverse and so anyone who would like it uh, can definitely have it I printed uh, two versions of of it version that's currently on there is PLA I did print a PETG version I just haven't installed it yet it prints flat like this and then you just need some minimal mounts uh, and they break away quite easily from this edge and you can see there's a an edge let's see if I can get this a hook on the edge so that it's easy to latch it on and then put the screws through so you mount the stepper first you get that all mounted on then you get your wire routing all through here and get it all lined up and then you hang it and then there's the screws um, at the this point and this point and this screw right here that hold it right to the carriage itself and uh, it seems to be very quite quite strong and here is a another view of the fan duct and again this is yellow PETG um, it's not quite the yellow that I would like on my printer but it's close enough and it's uh, will handle a little more temperature but this prints quite nicely the um, it has a little piece that breaks off that sits right here and so it actually prints so this is at a 45 degree angle and at, when it prints um, and it prints just beautifully no uh, no other supports except the built-in one that you remove um, I've got to look up who uh, who designed it I will put it in the show notes and uh, I'll make sure that um, I give credit on the Thingiverse page uh, that uh, of uh, who um, designed the fan. What I do appreciate is uh, he did post um, the fusion files for this uh, uh, fan, so it was easy to uh, adjust. So if you wanted to make this so that it was able to have a slot here and here so it could slide up and down, so that you could use this maybe for a v6 or a volcano you could totally do that uh, hot end is the way the one i've kind of remixed here yeah and it works really well uh, i'm really enjoying the printer i hope you enjoyed this quick update but uh, we will be continuing to put out new content i've got a few other projects that uh, i'd like to uh, show off to you so this is a retro radio that I've uh, redesigned. It was originally supposed to be a keychain, but um, you'll have to check out the next uh, video that I put out uh, for the updates. I'm gonna do. It'll be a series because I'm gonna show off a little bit more on kind of the steps I went through to take it from a keychain and make it into a larger object using Fusion 360 and how, how to kind of go from there. So hopefully that'll be something interesting for any of the people who are 
uh, interested in designing some of their own stuff. Uh, Fusion 360 is free again for makers, so please uh, check it out at Autodesk. And uh, see you next time.